First, fighting out of the blue corner, he's a mixed martial artist and this is his second fight. He weighed in at 57 kilograms on the dot. He is a trained out of strike MMA by way of Port Kennedy, Western Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Moon. And his opponent fighting out of the arena corner. He's a jiu-jitsu blue belt with an MMA record of one fight for one victory. He weighed in at 56.9 kilograms, fighting out of the MMA clinic in Williton, a birth of Western Australia by way of Singapore. Ladies and gentlemen, Havinda Moha! And you're a free for this fight, Diogo Cassoni. And we are live for Eternal MMA 28. This is your commentary team of Daniel Peeney and Jake O'Driscoll, four state champion in WA and Australia. Jake, we've got Havinda Maha and John, John O'Morton as starting up now for the fight. Basically, tell us a little bit about what you know about these two fighters, because I know you train with Havinda. Yeah, these boys have started out really quick, a nice quick pace here. Uh, we'll be looking to see that for the rest of the fight. Uh, Havinda is very, very slippery. He likes to get in, get out and move. Um, and he actually, Steve Morton actually fought an, a close training partner of Havinda's in Darcy, losing a close split decision. So it'll be interesting to see what Havinda's taken from that. Yeah, when I seen Havinda fight for his first, in his first match, he's really, really happy to stand and trade, as we can see from what's going down so far. He's also showed some good takedown take down technique, though, when the fighter's coming in. And John likes to control the middle of the mat, middle of the floor space. He likes to basically try and control, dominate with his Muay Thai base. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Havinda can actually get inside and start working some takedowns. Yeah, there seems to be a little bit of blood uh, from Steve already coming down. So Havinda's landing with those hands uh, nice and fast. It's an excellent start for Havinda. Let's we'll see if John can make some make some waves into this fight so far. Havinda is a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, but he's looking pretty comfortable standing on his feet trading. We'll see if he's going to shoot in any time soon and look to bring it to the mat. Both of these fighters have got a 1-0 one and, one and amateur record. For Havinda, obviously won his first fight, and John lost his fight to Darcy Spower at a return of 25. Both fights were split decisions, so hopefully this will continue to be a much keen keenly contested fight. Yeah, we're halfway through this round already, and there's some leather being swung. What a great way to start this fight card tonight. And then the close is different. Oh, he's been clipped. He saw Ooh. the fight's been stopped. And Diogo Consoni, the referee, very experienced, just having a look. I think he's saying it's an eye poke. A very quick feet there by Diego to, to stop any further onslaught if it was an eye poke. Yeah, that was fantastic referee and it stopped any further damage. Both fighters look a little bit. John is looking a little bit blood coming from his mouth and his nose. And Havinda still looks like he's got off of it, got rid of that actual eye injury now and he's right back into the fight. He's shaking it off. Let's see how he goes. This is a 56 kilo flyweight match and it's been absolutely fantastic first round so far. 11 fights we're bringing you tonight. 11 fantastic, keenly contested, con contesting combatants. And oh, oh, lovely combination. Very nice, very nice combination. Yeah. Lovely combination. What do you think John needs to do a little bit different here? He, I think he uh, should use that clinch game that he's quite well known for. Try and close the distance a little bit and uh, maybe try and put Havinda up against the cage, see if he can't work some of that um, yeah. Muay Thai knees. Being an amateur fight, there are no elbows, but the knee strikes will come into play if he can back him up. Yeah, absolutely agree. Yeah, Havinda's clearly having the best of the striking at the moment. 25 seconds left in the round. All 11 of these fights are going to be in the now cage uh, ban has been lifted, so they will all be in the cage quite clearly, but we're very happy about that in WA. How fantastic is it now that the cage basically ban is being lifted? Uh, yeah, very, very happy about that. Steve's able to land one of those knees. <laughs> Former Jiu-Jitsu World Champion as well. Very, very legit. 
And just coming into round two now. Both fighters are standing. The blood has cleared uh, from John's mouth. Steve's mouth, sorry. Right. And we are back in the ring. Well, yeah, you were talking about the cage band being lifted. How good is that for WA and how much of a difference do you think that's going to make? I think it's going to grow the sport to, to extraordinary heights. I think it's safer. I mean, it's, the, the athletes can move. They can use all their techniques. Um, clinch control against the cage is huge in MMA. Um, and it's just going to be, open up a whole new world for a lot of fighters. That's exactly right. John's trying to close the distance here, but Havinda's using excellent feet to keep out of range and then countering where he can. He's really dropping that left right and then the, uh, the left hook to follow. Yeah, very accurate as well. John's clinching up or looking to clinch up, as we talked about a little bit earlier. He's biting down on that mouth guard. He really wants to exchange. Yeah, looking to close the distance. His fingers are just coming out a little bit, though. You notice when he's going for the clinch, he's got to be careful there. Definitely. He doesn't want to get another eye poke and get a warning. Yeah, from absolutely. Jay. Absolutely. He's already behind on this card, so. But yeah, I mean, the difference the difference between trying to get a takedown off the cage to actually getting a takedown off the ring ropes, I mean, talk us through a little bit about the kind of problems you can reach when, yeah. you're, when you're trying to take someone down off, off a boxing ring rather than in the cage. Yeah, definitely. So obviously putting the, the back up against the cage is going to be a lot more technique involved. The, the fighter isn't going to be able to uh, push his backside through the ropes and, uh, and hold on to this takedown or hold on to the fence. Um, so it's a, it's a lot cleaner. Um, and there is a lot of energy expended when up against the cage. A lot of people don't realise how much. Yeah, John, John looks like he's just landed one punch there. Yeah, Very he's nice. a little bit unsteady on his feet. He's definitely walking forward. He wants yeah. to engage. He yeah. really, really wants to engage. He's looking to bite down on that mouth. Peter wants a clean knockout punch. And then they're still good, looking good on his feet, moving from side to side, using lateral movement. Havinda is very, very good in training at always staying consistent. Oh, lovely, lovely cross. Yeah, and, and moving. They're talking a little bit yeah, to each they're other. They're, they're enjoying it, it a little bit. Yeah. yeah, they're enjoying it. John is just looking. Oh, for just, oh he has hit. He has hit one hard. Can he, can he chase him down? Havinda clinches. Havinda's looking for that clinch now. He definitely got caught. John has the underhook. And he's looking to push him up, and he's yeah. teeing off on the body. Havinda needs to look to either get control back through under hooks or push it over from the cage. He's just done that. Well done. He needs to keep that chin tuck and yeah. stick and move, yeah, like he was in the first round. He's just got a little bit scrappy so far. Needs to maybe get his hands hands up, his chin down, and, and reset. Good combination from Havinda. John just seems to be enjoying it. Don't he want to trade leather. It's incredible. He just wants to bite on that mouth guard and, and pace forward. Very much like his coach Dave Johnson in the corner was a very experienced. MMA fighter, very good to watch. There's a oh, takedown. That's a good takedown attempt as well. Completely unexpected. Caught Havinda by surprise. Exactly. Coming to the end of round two. Havinda looking for an armbar. And on round two. three-minute round. As you know, Jake, these amateur bouts, these big class bouts, are three times three minutes, with our, with our pro fights being three times five-minute rounds. And this is the final round. Both fighters are going a little bit right, tired, but let's see what he can pull out in the final three minutes. Def definitely a close fight up until this point. It could really go either way. Havina definitely took that first round. The second round is debatable. He yeah. got caught. Uh, he did land that volume again, but he also got taken down. So let's see what, what John brings into this round, and if he looks for that takedown again. That's right, yeah. Basically, the first round, the first round you could probably safely say go into Havinda, but judge's decision could go either way for the second. So we're going to have a really, really contested, close third round, you would hope. And I think whoever has the greater will to win is going to win to take this guy. So good takedown by Havinda. Excellent catch. He didn't want to follow him down, though. He's quite happy standing on the feet trading, uh, even though he does hold that BJJ blue belt and is quite experienced on the ground. Oh, he's been clipped again. He's going to be that careful keeping high. that chin down when he's going backwards. The lateral movements become more of a move backwards, doesn't it? Maybe as he's been getting tired. When he brings his back off that cage, he's a lot more effective. There he goes, spins yeah, and, much and connects. Yeah, good cross. When he backs up against the cage, he's leaving his chin a little bit higher, and John's able to clip him each time. Just needs to play it a little bit more safe, doesn't he? Maybe just basically ensure that he's even a little bit safer as he moves away, keeping his hands up, keeping his chin down, and looking to trade combinations once he's moving to the side. Exactly. He does land at will at this point. 
Oh, that's another good catch. Can he get the takedown? Again, yes, he does. He does. He needs to protect that neck, and he has. John, I was looking for the guillotine there, but it just it wasn't there for him. So Hamina is in half guard. He wants to make sure that he doesn't leave anything out, and he stays nice and tight here. That's right. John, was just basically looking to stand up at the moment in time. That's what he's looking to do, and that's pretty much what he has done now. Exactly. Hamina's led him up there and tried to land a few on the exchange. But good, good uh, pressure on the ground there. Big, big sigh from John Morton there. He used so much energy in that second and the start of the third round. And John's still talking to yeah. himself as he moves forward. As you hear the crowd roar there, we've got one minute left. John's got a hold of that. Oh, and he's landed a big shot. Good shot there. Havinda's recovered Havinda's well, so good, good shot, and he's got a takedown, fantastic. He's got to protect his neck, he's on the right side, he needs to keep pressure down, see if he can isolate that left arm around John's neck to relieve the pressure on the guillotine. John Norton's looking to squeeze, but to be honest, he hasn't really got the position for that there. No, he's only got one arm in there, yeah, he's oh, out. That goal. Perfect, good, good takedown from Havinda. I really don't like to see it when fighters hold onto the head from that position there, the chances of getting a guillotine of any sort, unless you're really high level, is pretty low, It's very it? low, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Havinda's got a nice grip on, uh, on the hook on the on the far side there and he's keeping nice top pressure we have 20 seconds left if Havinda can control this it'll be a really strong finish for him I believe so I think he's had a really good round again like the first round and he might just edge this decision out final 10 John's trying to stand to his feet he's got the single leg but Havinda's looking to recover with a Komoda which he does get and turns into a sweep and a robbery Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we head to the judges for a decision. The judges scored 30, 27, 29, 28, and 29, 28 for unanimous decision. The Raider Corner, Havina Mahal.